Cold War, with World War II over and now us turning our attentions to the Russians, uh, we needed various ways to, one, uh, literally protect our skies, and two, to give our, the people of the U.S. Uh, sort of a feeling of security. And that's where SAGE came in. SAGE is the largest computer ever made. And uh, this is only one portion. And all of this is another portion. And we have less than 10% of one SAGE machine. First wide-scale use of modems was on this machine. And how it worked was you'd actually see a blip on the screen that was moving. And you would access that blip with a light gun by actually clicking on it. And if there was any information in air traffic control, it would show up in one area. But if not, the intercept technician would have to have it shot down. And you can see the uh, large screen here. And first wide scale use of modems, it was a decentralized network. So if a bomb was to take out one of them, it could still control the output and the inputs from another uh, station. So it was very influential in the early days of the ARPANET. Uh, with a lot of the whole concept of, you know, being able to keep the network running if you lose one of the nodes. Okay. Indicate what was coming, and then you could scramble jets or even launch missiles from the ground. You also see that you have the ability to dial up other sectors and control their airspace also. And if you wanted to zoom in and just deal with a specific division, and then you could access that and it actually would give you a full screen of that. Uh, very, very advanced system. You can see you have standby, off uh, power, or you can just keep the cooling to it at any time. You also had a cigarette lighter and ashtray, so if you were smoking, you could keep them going insane. 